Home birth is unfamiliar to many people. All of their immediate support system in their community is saying, you're doing what? <laughs> you're gonna have your baby at home? With a midwife? Like, is a, a midwife even qualified to deliver a baby? My dad expressed concern. You know, what if something was wrong? What if this happened? This is the story that I know. You know, what if that happened to your baby? And I was able to bring, take some of those questions that he asked and asked my midwife, and then she's able to answer that. Well, we have safety protocol in place, and if we notice red flags, then we don't hesitate to transfer you so that right. you can continue your birth in a hospital mm -hmm. setting under closer observation and monitoring. You know, the hospital is necessary when it comes to surgery. And, mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. But at the same time, if you're having a completely normal experience, then mm -hmm. the midwife is perfectly fine and sometimes safer than a hospital because there aren't all the, you know, all the sick people and the germs and the mm -hmm. super bugs or whatever, you know, whatever and fewer is out interventions there. Yeah. even. We came through that and on the other side, my dad said, wow, Steph, <laughs> this was amazing. That experience was just so night and day different and beautiful. Being able to, to birth our baby in our home, in a tub with like, bouquets of flowers around and candles lit and worship music playing and it was just lovely and now we all agree as a family like oh yes home birth <laughs> right <laughs> like, mm -hmm. why would you choose the hospital if you don't have to and yet I think it's important that every family is free to choose the birth yes. that is right for them that they're able to birth where they feel safest and most secure mm -hmm. and if that is in a hospital setting then that's the right birth for them right. if it's at home then that's the right birth for them tell me a little bit about you know your decision to homeschool and your yeah. experiences so far I think the socialization is often people's primary objection. Actually, the current public school model that is most common, when you look at the hours per week that they're spending in school, surrounded by a group of their peers that are all the same age. And it's like, mm -hmm. at what other point in your life are you only going to be with 30 12-year-olds? <laughs> It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Once you grow up, you I know. not only interact with kids, you know, your own age, but you mm -hmm. interact with adults, you interact with college right. kids, you interact with younger children. Right. And it's not limited. It's whatever the parents take responsibility to go out and say, hey, let's go hang out with these people. Let's go do this. Let's go, you know, do a business conference. You yes. know? And the fact that you can even adapt and adjust your lesson for that day based on what life throws your way. Yes. Mm -hmm. That it's like, okay, you know what? Actually, we ran out of groceries and we really need to fit that errand in today. But you know what? Here's a notepad for you and here's a notepad for yes. you. Mm -hmm. I want you to write down every single item that we're buying as we go through the store. And I need you to give me a tally of what the total right. will be at the end. Calculate the tax yes. and let's see who gets the closest to, to figuring out the right total at the end. Mm -hmm. What let's, are the ingredients to this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's look and see which one's organic and which yeah. one. <laughs> There's so many lessons uh -huh. available, even in just the day-to-day -day things that we do as a family. Right.